It's the National Football League on EA Sports. And the wait is over for this rivalry game. It's the Miami Dolphins and the Buffalo Bills. And it comes your way next. We are about 15 miles south of downtown Buffalo at Highmark Stadium in Orchard Park. Happy to be on hand. I'm Brandon Gordon with Charles Davis. And before we kick, partner, your keys to the game, please. Well, my keys are on the defensive side of the ball for both teams. And the big one, making sure you avoid giving up the big play. These safeties are going to get tested all game long. Their job, keep the ball in front of them, tackle people, make them run extra plays in order to try and score. And we are underway in Buffalo. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. For the Buffalo offense coming out, and it is Josh Allen who is at the helm. I remember when he came out of Wyoming, the big question mark, could he be accurate enough to be a star in the NFL? I think it's safe to say he's put all of us in our place and put those doubts to rest. He can roll out and run it. He can bomb it over your heads. Everything in between he is an absolute nightmare for defenses to try and prepare for. And when he's on, he's an MVP caliber player each and every time he takes the field. In motion, Hollins. Into the air right away is Allen. Got it complete to Khalil Shakir. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. That's a pickup of 11 and a first down on their first offensive play. Well, this defense certainly knows they're going to have their hands full trying to slow down this passing game. Here's an example on the very first play from scrimmage. I think we'll see some different looks, maybe some pressure from different places, but it didn't work there, and it's a quick first down. Allen now looks to throw. Over the middle, complete. That's Cook. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. Ten yards, good enough for a Buffalo first down. Nice little nifty play for him there. Yeah, that's the ability to read a defense and utilize players that don't often get picked up in coverage easily. And I'm talking about being able to use the backs out of the backfield. Because I know that when I used to cover, hey, we got everybody cut. Oh, he just snuck out there, and they just got a nice first down there. What do we love to say? Get those backs into space, right? And they were able to do that there. Nice pickup on first down. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. From midfield, here's Allen. Eluding the pressure right. Josh Allen, very athletic at 6'5", showing the versatility, picking up the first on the scramble. And that's an early scramble that can be viewed positively by either side. From the offensive point of view, it begins to establish him as a possibility to keep it on certain plays. And defensively, they avoided giving up a huge play in one of their first tests in containing a quarterback on the run. And his throw is incomplete. Well, they've been back on their heels a little bit here in this drive, but a chance to exhale just a little bit there with incompletion on first down. Now they have to gear up, try and get two more stops, and escape this drive. Here's second and ten. And they'll send the tight end in motion here. From the gun, it's Allen. And there is Amari Cooper, his first catch. And he's got another first down as he's brought down at the Dolphins 33. Give him 10 yards there as this offense is on a roll. This drive continues to plunge forward. As a passer, you're always trying to find that open window to throw the ball downfield. How about this one? Right in the middle of the field, right in the heart of a defense. Now Allen. Looking for and finding Amari Cooper again. 
The result, only four yards there on the play. And it'll be second down. And he's already got two catches on the opening drive. <laughs> they know he's going to be a handful. And sometimes you game plan for that offensively. You want to make sure that guy touches the ball. And sometimes it just happens naturally. And then you change your game plan. When he has the hot hand, you keep going back to him because he's running routes with confidence as the game goes on. And only able to muster a couple down to about the 27. The completion on first didn't get much, and now the run on second doesn't get a whole lot either. Well, if you're a good play caller, you've already looked ahead and anticipated this type of situation, already down in his play sheet, trying to dial up a big third down play. Allen from the gun on third down. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he is into the end zone for a Buffalo touchdown. Khalil Shakir, 27 yards. And the Bills are on the board first here this afternoon. They got to love that. Nine play drive results in six points. That means they're doing the dictating. That means that they've described how the game's going to go. They're playing at their tempo, at their pace. If you're on the other side of the ball, if you're playing defense, defense is not methodical. They've got to go in there and shake things up and create a little havoc. Tyler Bass on for the extra point attempt. And it's 7-0 Buffalo. So that drive consumes nine plays all told. And it was all polished off with a Khalil Shakir touchdown catch. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. And he won't quite make it to the 25. Well, the Dolphins head out, led by the NFL's leading passer in 2023. Now in his fifth season, to a tongue of Iloa. And he's coming off a great season where he put up career highs in yards and touchdowns, while also leading one of the most prolific scoring offenses in the NFL. The number one thing he did last season, though, staying healthy. When he's on the field, Miami can roll. Two in the Dolphins now with a first and 10 at their own 24. Waddle the motion man right. He'll get it here on the jet sweep. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. Random to me, what's important right here on this drive is for them to get at least two first downs. They've got to give their defense a chance to settle down, catch their breath a little bit after they give up a touchdown on the opening drive. And they'll come up on a second and seven from the 27. Play action, now it's Tua. They'll swing this out wide. Here's Achan. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Give him 12 yards there, and the Dolphins have a first down. We'll see what kind of mindset they have here offensively after giving up the touchdown on the opening drive. And based on our time with them, you know, prior to this game, I feel like they've got a good mindset going in. In fact, the discussion that we had with the coaching staff was, you know, we may give up some points in this game, so our offense has to be ready each and every time to either equal or try and get us ahead and try and keep us ahead. This is their chance to respond to that first touchdown given up. Give him a gain of five on the completion, and that's going to bring up second down. I do have to admit, I like it when it all comes together. When the top part, catching the football, right, whether you're catching it with your hands or cradling it, comes together with the legs, in this case the feet, did a little toe tap to stay in bounds and complete the catch. And a great job by our crew on the camera shot. Love when you see the grass or on the field turf, those rubber pellets flying up. Great catch. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. Counting down toward the midway point in corner one. On play action, here's Tua. They'll let this go deep for Waddle. And he's got it inside the 10. 
It's a big play there for Miami. 42 yards. It's early, but it's now a cliche alert here. Big players make big plays. Should I say in big games too? Ah, oh, what the heck. And this defense, they're going to have to find some way to slow him down as this game goes on. Because when this combination is going good, they can tear your secondary apart. The chain gang hustling to catch up. Here's first and goal from just inside the 10. They'll run HM. And he's going to pull his way down to about the one yard line. And hold on here because on that last run, it looks like we have a player who was shaken up. We'll check on his status when we return to Orchard Park. Second and goal from the one. Now they'll put a receiver in motion left. HN once more. And this time he'll score. Touchdown, Miami. Well, he finishes off the drive with a touchdown run, Charles. Remember, he also had a catch on this drive as well. And that's what running backs want to be in today's NFL, a complete back. Three down, stay on the field, run it, and catch it. And he gets it done. Extra point up and good by Sanders. And we are tied at seven. So this drive spans seven plays. And it was Devon Achan who finished things off with a touchdown reception. Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. And they'll start this drive just across the 30. Pretty nice work on the return. So here come the Bills out for their second drive. Good drive last time. Really effective passing the football. Do you maybe mix it up, now go to the ground game and surprise the defense a little bit? I would anticipate the defense making some changes, but I wouldn't necessarily just absolutely go in the opposite direction. They're doing so well throwing the ball. Yeah, why? why I wouldn't it? change it up until they showed me a reason to do so. Here's Allen to throw it. Quick hitter here. It's complete. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight yard gain, second and two. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here. And if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up a score. In motion, Hollins. So the shotgun snap to Allen. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. I know this may be jumping the gun a little bit, but 7-7, seven to seven, they're flinging it around like crazy. Look at the drive that's going on here. Partner, we may have to start thinking about one of these defenses just holding someone to a field goal and maybe trying to get an advantage that way. The slot man in motion right. Allen. Shakir hauls it in. And he's finally taken down, but not before he reaches the 14. A big play here for Buffalo, 42 yards. What a first quarter he's been putting together. He scored the touchdown earlier, and he's in phase right out of the gate. Right now, he's playing with such confidence, he doesn't believe that they have an answer for him no matter what they do on defense. And here's another big play to prove his point. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. In motion, Hollins. And again, it's Allen. And a quick throw here, that's complete. The excellent play last time is followed by a much more routine gain of three.
A second and seven with our score tied at seven, but they're planning to change that soon. Only question, will they get three or six out of it? Throwing now is Allen. Throwing quickly there, but it's incomplete. He's a little trigger happy right there, and it turned into an ill-advised throw into their zone. Well, we know he has confidence. He'll throw it any place, any time, anywhere. That time it fell incomplete. They head to the line facing a third and seven following the incompletion on second down. To the air, Allen. Being chased out left. And he is into the end zone for a Buffalo touchdown. Josh Allen taking it in from 11 yards out. And the Bills have taken the lead. He hit him earlier in this first quarter with his arm. Now he does it with his legs. Right now, he's one of those stat stuffers that you see on the basketball court. You know, the guy with points, rebounds, assists, steals. One with the arm, one with the legs. Let's see if he can continue this pace. And sending out the reminder that, yeah, look, I'm known for having an arm, but I can do it with the legs on occasion when I need to. Extra point by Bass, up and good. And that makes the score 14 to 7. A drive that time of six plays. And it was Josh Allen using his legs to polish things off. Oh, a good return up past the 30. And all in all, a pretty solid return. Nearly got it to the 35. They'll mark him down officially at the 34. So Miami coming out for their second drive. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember, the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out. Looking to repeat that in Charles's defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive, and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. And this defense able to plug him up there as he'll get a yard to the 35. No doubt about it. A really nice job there by the defense not allowing him to get to the perimeter. But that means your defensive ends, your outside linebackers, the guys that you pay big money to to sack the quarterback, they also have to have interest in the running game as well. And they did a nice job there of holding the point of attack and not giving ground. Forced out to his left. Loose inside the 30. Big yardage there on the scramble. It gets him a first down. We know he's got the arm, but watch out for those wheels. Kind of harkens back to guys they used to call the scrambler and the dodger. This guy can make it work with his legs. Field opened up. He took advantage. Now they'll send Waddle in motion left. Now a play fake. Here's Tonga Bailoa. Now throw out wide, going to be incomplete. You still hold your breath a little as a defense when Tua gets out of the pocket. You're worried about him scrambling and getting a first down. But there, he made the wise call. If there's nothing downfield, just throw it away. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. In motion, Hill. They fake the handoff. Now Tua. That's going to be caught. And he'll take this into the end zone for a Dolphins touchdown. Odell Beckham. 25 yards for the touchdown. And the Dolphins are an extra point away from evening this one up. Well, on that connection, it looked like they maybe had some pre-play communication. Maybe one of them noticed an area that was open to the defense to get the pass to. When you put the time in, sometimes you have that great silent communication that you just noticed right there because the best quarterback-receiver combos in the NFL, they know how to make those adjustments at the line of scrimmage when they see something pre-play, and they got it done there. Sanders on for the extra point. And we've got a good one brewing. We're all knotted up at 14. 
Just a four-play drive that time. And it's OBJ, Odell Beckham, who ends it with a touchdown reception. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. And he takes this near the 25, just a little pass there, call it the 26. Here's the Buffalo offense now as they get set to take over here. We have seen a lot of points here in this quarter. For us up here in the booth, it's been fun to watch. The defensive coordinators probably scratching their heads. Yeah, they're going a little bit crazy right now. But let's face it, all of our friends who play fantasy, <laughs> they're enjoying the heck out of this show because most of them are creating and getting a bunch of points. Yeah, points certainly not at a premium here. Here's Cook as they begin on the ground. And he powers his way up past the 30. Javon Holland coming up to make the stop. That's a really nice, tough run inside, and they gained five yards on it. And to be frank about it, most offenses don't expect to get five yards on a play call like that. So when they do, they go back to their huddle with a little pep in their steps. They're starting to think that they're starting to dominate the line of scrimmage. In motion, Hollins. To throw, it's Allen. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And he's dropped just before the line to gain. Four-yard pickup leaves him with third and one. Third down and one. Working out of the shotgun, here's Allen. He's got his target. That's complete. And he'll go out of bounds, it looks like, right at the 40. His fourth catch already in this first quarter. It's a first down. How about the first quarter he's putting together out wide? Pretty impressive. I think that he likes the fact that we're playing this as a day game. You know, some guys, they respond better in the evenings for some reason it builds up. For this guy, day game, and he is off and running. You're exactly right. 100 might be conservative with the start that he's had here in the first he, quarter. Yeah, by the numbers, he's on pace for 200-plus right now. Jordan Brooks on the tackle. These two teams all tied after one. Second quarter now in Buffalo. It's the Bills in control of the football. Now a second and 10. As they've got it as we resume action. Allen off the play fake. It's Knox, the tight end, making the catch. They do get a yard there, but only a yard. Leaves them with third and nine looming. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. Now Allen, swinging this out wide here for Cook. And this won't be enough, a good secured tackle and they stop him a few yards shy at the 46. That one good for only six and it leaves him with a fourth down. How about that strategy there, Brandon? Third down, they just said, we've got faith in our tacklers, we'll give you the short stuff and just decided to protect the sticks. So every time I hear fans telling me tackling's not a part of the game anymore, plays like that, I can clip and save and show them you have to tackle well if you want to be a good defense. The Dolphins offense now heads back on the field. And they'll just simply be looking to build off the confidence of the last time out where they scored a touchdown. And confidence is powerful, isn't it? When you've scored once, you feel like you can go back out there and get it done again. Doesn't matter what the defense throws at them. They feel like they're in a groove right now, and they want to get out there and show it. Yeah, hoping to stay in that groove here this go around. Tug of Iloa and the Dolphins come up first and 10 at the 41 yard line. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. 
And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. And a lot of being a defender is being able to learn what you can and can't get away with when in man coverage. In this case, he got away with it. It helped pop that ball free. Second and 10. Here's Tongue of Iloa to throw. It's caught inside the 25. And he will be taken down inside the Buffalo 20. It's a big play there for Miami. And even 40 yards. Well, partner, that's how you make a long drive suddenly. Not so long anymore. One big play, and they're already in field goal range with designs on getting more than that. So the big play means just like that, they'll operate from the red zone now on first down. Two are going to throw. He's got Smith here. And a good gain here of nine from the 19 down to the 10. Now that's staying ahead of the chains. Really good pickup on first down, hitting the tight end there. Now it brings up a second and manageable. Just found a hole in that zone. Ball resting on the 10-yard line. It's second and one. Tua sets up to pass it. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And the Dolphins are looking at first and goal as he's tackled all the way down at the two-yard line. Good throw, good catch, but I really like the route. The drag and being able to run away from defenders. Hard to stick with them for that long. Yeah, better against man than zone or... Better against man because now you're running away from someone and you're not running into a defensive player in another zone. And they'll let the fullback try and take him home. And he takes it into the end zone for the Dolphin touchdown. Alec Ingold taking it in from two yards out. And the Dolphins have taken the lead. So, Charles, that's three touchdowns on three drives, and it's just been an offensive barrage so far. Great word, partner, using barrage right there. I'm going to add another word if you don't mind. How about perfection? No surprise that they're leading right now. Absolute dominance throughout this ball game, and no signs of slowing down. Sanders now to add the extra point. It's up and good, and that'll make the score 21-14. The drive summary that time, five plays, and it's culminated by a two-yard touchdown run. Now after the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. And out a little across the 25 to the 27. Here's the Buffalo offense now as they get set to take over here. They'll look for a drive to tie this up, down 21-14 as they have it first and 10. Here's Allen. Has his man. It's Shakir. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Now they may want to go back to that one. First play of the drive, good for 15 and a first down. So in the second quarter, he's already up over 100 yards receiving now. And isn't 100 the magic number for a really good game for a receiver? So he's got a chance to really shatter that and have a profound effect on this game. And he still has yet to get on track in this first half as they're going to stop him behind the line. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. I have a feeling they'll stay committed to running the football, especially on the early downs. They just haven't had a whole lot of success just yet. Looking at a second and 11 now after the loss. They run it again with Cook. And he's going to get back to the original line of scrimmage, but that's about it. The second down play, not much better than the first, just a gain of one there. 
The passing game's been working quite well so far, but the running game's been a little bit of a struggle, and that's a surprise to me. Typically, when you can throw it, you've opened up lanes for your runners. The Bills on third down. They've been good, three for four thus far. This is third and ten. Allen going to throw. That ball nearly intercepted, but he could not hang on. Oh, pick there certainly would have been nice. Instead, at least it'll be fourth down. One first down here, and that's all, folks. Good work by this defense to hold things in check and force a punting situation. On fourth down, here's Sam Martin on to kick it away. Thirty-one yards on the punt there, and it'll be Dolphin football. Out comes the Dolphin offense now as they get set to take over here. Right now, everything they touch turns to gold. This is their fourth possession. Touchdowns on their first three possessions. I mean, this defense, they can't seem to stop them. It's like they're on skates. Great analogy, Brandon, because they are pushing them back and winning everything at the line of scrimmage. And they've just been laying down tracks towards the opposite end zone. So to themselves, all they're saying is, if we don't make a mistake, there's no way they can stop us. He'll dump this off to A-Chan. Only able to gain a couple there, and it'll be second down. All defenses worry that whenever anyone catches the ball and has a head of steam come out of the backfield, it could turn into a big play with missed tackles or he runs through people. But they were right there waiting, and they stopped him for a minimal gain. Now Tua. Well, it's caught on the right side at Smith. It'll go down as a gain of six, and it'll leave him with third and a full yard to go. Let's not quibble about the game there on second down. That was a positive play because that was a take-what-you-can-guess situation. Got out to the tight end. Now it gives him a much better opportunity to convert on third down. They'll try and run here with Mostert. And he is going to have the Dolphins first down as they're able to convert, albeit not by much, on third and a yard. That's quite a spot there for his first carry of the game, but obviously they had plenty of faith in him, didn't they? No question about it. And here, why not go with the fresh legs? Able to push forward, pick up that first. They'll send a receiver in motion to the left. Now A-Chan on first and ten. And they're going to stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever. Second and ten. The running lanes have definitely not been there for him here in the first half, and I don't think it's all been his fault. His offensive line hasn't given him much space. A loss results there. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. Now they'll send Waddle in motion left. Off a of play action. Tongue of Iloa. And the Bills are going to get him as he goes down. A.J. Epinesa, the one credited for the sack. And this is a quarterback who's already had success on the ground in his first half, but this time they're able to hem him in. And it's always different when you rush a mobile quarterback as opposed to a guy you know will be right back in the pocket. In this case, you got to make sure the inside pressure and the outside pressure match, and maybe even a second wave to make sure if he squirts free, you've got someone to tackle him. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And out of bounds on the other side of midfield at the 45. That was no third and two. That was third and 16, but they get the conversion anyway. We can talk all we want about football being a game of strength and brawn. It's also a game of mismatches, and they're trying to create one there, getting it to their back out of the backfield to make a bigger play. As we often say, get it to him in space, let him use his leg. Yeah, if, if he can get a matchup against a linebacker or maybe a defensive end dropping out in a zone blitz, he's going to win that battle just about every time. Gets this one to Hill, and this winds up a gain of four to the 41. Simple drag route here, lined up out left and tried to work his way back across the field. You probably saw me twitch there, partner, because I think he wanted the ball a little bit sooner. By the time he looked it in, defender was right on him. From the 41, here's second and six. Up the middle, A-Chan. 
And he'll be close to a first down as the tackle made at the Bills 36. It's a five-yard gain, but they'll still be a yard short here with third down now looming. I think that run gives us evidence that the defense is getting a little bit tired out there. They've been out in the field for a long time, and that last run, they just cut right through them. They'll look to make it three for three on third down conversions. They need a yard here. On play action, here's Tua. To the sideline and incomplete. So two third down conversions on this drive, but not able to get a third, and now they deal with fourth down. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up, not that time. Sanders' kick is good, and the lead works its way up to 10, 24-14. So they get the three. It was fourth and one, and I think you were doing what I was doing. I was looking down at the sideline. I'm not sure the offensive unit wanted the three. They wanted to go for it. But when have we ever seen a unit that didn't want to go for it in that situation, That's true. right? Sometimes it's just way more important to have the points on the board than to worry about any type of a gamble. Johnson jostles free. And good starting field position. He'll get this one all the way up to about the 35-yard line. Buffalo offense back out ready to go. They're down now 24-14. Work to do as they come up on a first and 10. Allen now looks to throw. And this one too low. Not too many things get to a quarterback of this magnitude, but I think it's safe to say that pressure can get to any quarterback. Now he's obviously a great franchise quarterback, but felt the pressure, threw it incomplete. Here's second and 10 now from the 35. Up the middle, it's Cook. And the running lane's non-existent in this first half as they'll stop him behind the line. It'll go as a loss of a yard, so now they deal with third and 11. Well, that's not an easy play for a defensive end because most of his responsibility has him getting upfield and working. But how about his vision to see where the play was going, crashed down inside, and tackled him for a loss. From the gun, it's Allen. That is caught on the move past the 40. Still going inside the 20. And he's got it all the way down to the 12-yard line. A big play there on the catch and run. 54 yards. And the offense is saying to itself right now, if only they were all this easy because he was wide open. And once he made the catch, plenty of room to work his way downfield. That was a breakdown on the defensive side of the ball, one that they want to fix immediately. A real field flipper there as all of a sudden they've got a first down in the red zone. In motion, Hollins. Here's Allen to throw it. Setting up the screen for Cook. No gain on the screen there. It's second down. Well, that was a simple throw and catch, but even with that completion, zero yards gained. So they're behind schedule on down and distance. I think they were hoping to get it to him. He can make a man or two miss, but that window closed quickly. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. Here's second and ten. Allen. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Right up to that point, I was about to say, he's had a pretty good half catching the football, but let's just be honest about it. He should have caught that one. And he knows that. That was one right in his bread basket and one he normally catches. An incomplete pass on second down. It muddles things a little bit here. This is third and ten. To the air, Allen. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Buffalo touchdown. Josh Allen. A 12-yard touchdown run. And the Bills have cut it back within a score. Hey, you're down on the scoreboard, but now your offense is in close, and this is where, as a quarterback, you say, I've got to make a play here. 
Doesn't matter whether it's a pinpoint throw or a scramble like this one. He takes matters into his own hands and delivers a touchdown run. Tyler Bass now for the point after. It's up and good, and this now becomes a 24-21 ball game. So the drive there took six plays, and it was Josh Allen using his legs to polish things off. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. Devon A. Chan of the offense ready to go once again. He's over 40 yards here in the second quarter. Been nice and effective for them, hasn't he? He has definitely been dependable and really shouldn't underestimate what he's getting done here because anytime you're on a pace that's going to approach 100 yards, you've really done some damage in an NFL game. And now he's looking just to add to his totals. Going to the air, tug of Iloa. This is Smith with a grab. And out across midfield, down to the 45. That's good for 28 yards. And that was good protection there. No, that was great protection there because it allowed him to lock in on his receiver. Although I think he was looking for his tight end on the corner route all the way. Nice connection there for a really nice gain. Looking to pass to him. That's going to be caught by Waddle. And he's taken down inside the 30. 16 more on that one and another first down. Good strong throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. Here's Tua. On target over the middle to Hill. Now the Dolphins going to burn the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 40 seconds remaining in this first half. Second down and four. Now a play fake. Here's Tonga Bailoa. Touchdown, Dolphins! Two of fighting his old Alabama teammate, Jalen Waddell. And the Dolphins will extend their lead in the final minute of the half. Partner, to me, that touchdown had something that was kind of rooted in that group seeing the future. And what I mean by that is they had a plan. Let's find a way to score right here before the half. And that'll give us momentum going into the second half. Give us that cushion that we're looking for. They got that accomplished, scoring right before the half ended. Sanders on for the extra point. And his guys will take a 10-point lead. A drive there of just four plays. And it was finished off by a Jalen Waddle touchdown. Now after the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. The Bills offense and their quarterback ready to go once more. And he's done everything you could have asked for coming in. He's spread it around. He hasn't taken many chances. And he's potentially on his way to a big game throwing the football.
The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. Well, not much time remains here in this first half. We'll see if they can get something out of this drive, at least a field goal. They could certainly use it down by two scores. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Cook. Now the Bills are going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop the clock with 26 seconds to go until halftime. Just need a yard here, second and one. Now Allen. Into the hands of the tight end, Dalton Kincaid. Now the Bills will use the second of their timeouts. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. So the shotgun snap to Allen. A short throw pulled in by Kincaid. The Bills are going to go ahead and use their final timeout as it'll come with 15 seconds to play in the first half. Second down and three. On play action, Allen. Throw left side to Kincaid. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. The Bills passing game, getting him down the field. They've got another first down. Another nice play there. They've gotten down into the red zone in no time at all. That's what this offense can do when they get on a roll. And now they're set up with a first and ten. So even though it's first down, here's the field goal unit on now to try to get three before halftime. From the left hash, this from 34. The kick by Bass is good. And this is back down to a seven-point game. So yes, they'll still be down going into intermission, but the deficit is now made even smaller, very manageable. Yeah, and if nothing haywire happens here in his last couple of precious seconds, they will go into the locker room with a nice bounce in their step, having gotten a little bit closer on the scoreboard. So six seconds, all that remains of this first half is the kick is away. And not wanting to risk anything here late in the half, he'll just take a knee and they'll bring the football out to the 25. And with time running down, they go down to a knee. So we've reached halftime in a wild first half. We'll take a minute to catch our breath as we send you down to Orlando where Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. It was Devon Achan who's had the strong first half. He wound up finding the end zone on a touchdown run to help give his guys the advantage here at the break. All right, Coach, thanks. Yeah, both teams likely to make some changes in what's been a closely fought battle to this point. It's been a shootout so far. We'll see which defense can make the adjustments as we get back underway in the second half. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. The Dolphins' offense and Tua Tungavailoa headed back out onto the field. 
And as we show you some of the highlights from earlier, he has been instrumental in getting his guys the lead as he looks to finish strong and close this one out. First down Miami as they get set to start the drive. And they've got the lead, CD. What do you expect from them in the second half? Well, I like what they were able to do on the ground in the first half because they had a lot of success running the ball, and I certainly think we'll see more of that. But I keep an eye on that defense, and I think their coaches up in the box will do the exact same thing. If they start to see one or two guys start to creep towards the line of scrimmage, that'll be licensed to take some shots downfield. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. A run straight ahead with HM. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Two yards the loss, and now third and 12. And that's what this defense is going to need to do more in the second half. Good pressure that time, forces some indecision in the backfield. He's going to wind up being taken down for a nice loss. Third and 12. Throwing now is Tugabailoa. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. That one good for 13 at a Dolphin first down. This offensive game plan has just been sensational. I mean, when you think about all the different ways they've gotten their receivers open so far, it's really been impressive. Scheme, design, execution. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. In motion, Hill. On the handoff, it's HM. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. And plays like that are exactly what this defense needs here early in the second half to give it a little spark. I think their halftime adjustments, what they talked about, maybe it was just a little inspirational speech. Who knows? But looks like they're ready to go. Here's Tongue of Iloa to throw. And he'll protect himself at the end here as he winds up getting pretty decent yardage. Give him seven there on the tuck and run, and they're in better shape now for third. The defense did its job of taking away a quick throw, but that's only half the battle because they've got to get to him before he can make a run for it. A little bit late containing him there, so he makes a nice gain out of a play that looked like it was in trouble. Two are going to throw. He's going to get that to his running back out of the backfield. And he's got a first down as a tackle made at the Bills 42. They give him 14 yards that time and a fresh set of downs. But they certainly had success throughout this contest, getting him the ball in the passing game, and there he picks up another first down. Whatever they saw going into this one, they've been able to capitalize on it, and no adjustment has been made to take it away. They fake the handoff. Now Tua. And a little floater there is incomplete. Nice progress down the field was halted by that incompletion. They could try for some safe yards here to get things moving again or keep throwing it and pushing it downfield to try and pick up bigger yardage. Ball on the 42 as they come up second and 10. Back to the ground, HM. And hold on here because on that last run, it looks like we have a player who was shaken up. We'll check on his status when we return to Orchard Park. If they want a first, they need to get the football to the 32 here on third down. Now Tua. And this is caught inside the five. And all the way in for a Miami touchdown. 
Tyreek Hill, 39 yards. And the Dolphins have taken a two-touchdown lead now. Circle that drive because that might be one to remember. Well executed to give them a little cushion. Well, let's take it into the boxing ring. You talk about them commanding it, keeping the fight where they wanted to, whether it was in the center of the ring or putting them on the ropes because it was jab, jab, jab. And finally, the haymaker to put that drive away. Sanders now to add the extra point. And he's been a busy man, five for five now, as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. That time, a nine-play drive. And it ends with a touchdown pass to Tyreek Hill. Now after the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. The Bills offense and their quarterback set to take the field once more. And he had it going in the first half, that's for sure. He's really had his way with his secondary. They've been powerless to stop him. And he'll look to keep it rolling right here. Buffalo offense ready to go for their next drive. Well, the opposition laid down the challenge and opening drive touchdown here to start the second half. And Charles, now you feel like this group needs to get an answer because this all of a sudden is a two-score game. Yeah, you're right about that. What was a small, manageable spread to overcome? A little bit more daunting now. I think you're exactly right. Pressure is on because you don't want them getting the ball back with a chance to really extend this lead out. From the 24, they'll go again on second and 10. Option play, here's Cook, and he'll be stopped up at the 26 after a gain of only a couple. Well, that's a good start to this drive on the defensive side of the ball. 4C in completion on first down, then you're able to shut down the running play on second. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised now. A little bit of pressure going at the quarterback in the expected passing situation. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. To throw, it's Allen. Oh, he had him. He was open, but he couldn't get it to him. It's incomplete. Looks like another empty possession offensively. And you're at that point in the game where you can't afford too many more of these. So this is going to require some heavy thinking on the sideline to figure out what they can do to crack this defense. Here's Sam Martin now as he's on to punt for Buffalo. Oh, this is off the side of his foot. And where will this be spotted? The side judge says it went out just across midfield. Dolphins offense returning to the field. And as we look back at how we got here, you'll notice a common theme in these highlights. A lot of yardage through the air. The passing game has been sharp right from the outset. The Dolphins at the line, ready for their next drive. Here's A-Chan to start the drive. And just one yard here from the 49 to the 50. I know the speed is the hallmark of today's NFL game, but the key to good rushing defense is still having your linebackers set the edge. Second and nine. A-Chan here, they stay on the ground. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. Officially, no gain on the play, and they're left with a third and eight. Those are the plays this defense needs with the deficit they're facing. It certainly is, and they've got to continue to swarm the football and hope that someone, while they're holding up the ball carrier, 
can get in there and rake it and lock it free. They need to get some takeaways as well. Out of the gun on third down. Here's Tua. Pass to the sideline and pulled in. And he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. Tua to Tyreek for the Miami first. And now we get into the psychology of the whole thing because a lot of teams with a two-score lead in the third quarter, they almost become defensive with their offense, just playing not to lose. I think with this team, you got to figure at this point, this is a great spot for them to go into attack mode, really try and put the hammer down and finish this one off. Running right, here's a champ And down right around the 32-yard line, four yards on the pickup. I feel like I could see what he was thinking on that carry. Wanted to follow that big tackle through the hole. Ended up only getting four yards on the carry. I think he had designs on that one being bigger. From the 32-yard line now, here's second and six. Tua sets up to pass it. It's Hill complete. And Hill is going to have the Dolphins first down as he'll get this down to the 23. Eight yards on the pick up there, and it moves the sticks. They like going to him in the slot. He catches another one. I think this comes under the heading of, until they stop him, why not go back to him? He has something going really well. Great working relationship with the guy throwing the ball, and they keep making the connection. On play action, here's Tua. And this one almost intercepted. Had a chance to come down with it in the end zone, but could not hang on. This could be the start of a nice stand from this defense now after getting walked backwards on this drive. Come through with another one here, and you have them staring at a third and long, and that puts the defense in a position to dictate to the offense. Out of the gun, here's a give to HN. And there is nowhere for him to cut back as he's taken down in the backfield. Two yards the loss, and now third and 12. I have zero rooting interest in either team in this game. I only want a good game. But with all the offense we've seen from them tonight, it's kind of nice to see the defense step up and make a big play. Yeah, I was wondering if they were ever going to get him in the backfield. Nice to see him get a stop. Pressure applied, and he's going to be taken down. They sack him back at the 33-yard line. It was Vaughn Miller who shot in there to get him down. Well, how about that? A dime set on defense, six defensive backs. None of them blitz. They're just back there in coverage. Defensive lineman gets the sack. That's where the O-line, they go to the sideline, they keep their, their helmets on so the cameras can't find them, right? Yeah, the cameras can't find them, but I know one thing, the O-line coach will. So fourth down, Tua departs, and on is Jason Sanders and the Dolphin field goal unit. And this one is no good. He missed it. And this will remain a two-touchdown game. Yeah, this place has notoriously never been kind of visiting field goal kickers. You get those wins that really whipped through the inner bowl, not to mention the urban legends about stadium workers opening and closing the tunnel doors. But for whatever reason, this one winds up off target. Here's the Buffalo offense now as they get set to take over here. And Charles, a very uninspired effort the last time we saw them out there. It was a quick three and out, then they punted the football. Yeah, and you never want to get stopped so soundly during a series, but what would be even worse now is letting it happen again right here. They've got to get going. Yeah, because they couldn't hit the long field goal, they are set up nicely offensively at the 41, first and 10. Throwing now is Allen. Escaping the pressure right. He'll get eight on the scramble there. It'll be second and a couple. I do think it's fair to say that they were caught off guard a little bit. We decided not to throw it on first down. But give them credit. They recovered in time to deny him the first down yardage. But it's only second and short. So that run is still likely to lead to a new set of downs. Allen going to throw. Looking for Cooper. That's complete. And he's able to get this one down to the 40-yard line. 
10 yards, good enough for a Buffalo first down. And that's a more than acceptable read right there because it's zone coverage, so timing is everything. This time he waits for his man to come open, puts it right on him, and they pick up a first down. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Here's Allen to throw it. Has his man, it's Shakir. And he'll get this one down near the 20-yard line, just shy of the 20. Well, they had a gain of 10 last time, now a gain of 20 here. I'll tell you what, a lot of those mid-range throws have been available because sometimes teams get too concerned about the deep ball and they leave too much space in front of them. And these guys have been taking advantage so far. Allen. It's caught. Cooper. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Buffalo touchdown. Amari Cooper from 21 yards away. And the Bills have got it back to within a score. And there they got him the ball. Just get it to him, let him do the rest. You know, he probably said that to his quarterback as he broke the huddle. I like the play call. Just get it to me. I'll take care of the rest of it. Helping out his rack, right, RAC? Run after catch, and he loves that, and he's going to carry that in at contract time. Bass on for the extra point. And that'll cut the lead down now to a touchdown. So that drive, four plays. And it's Amari Cooper who finishes it off with a touchdown reception. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. A solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32. Jalen Waddle, the speedster wide receiver, brings out this offense. Good day for him so far here in the third quarter. He's hit pay dirt once, over 100 yards, but hey, it's the third quarter. He's thinking, I want more, right? He wants more, and it just increases the confidence of his team because every play he makes, that means his quarterback is really feeling good about throwing the football. Probably feels like he can't throw an incomplete pass when he throws it to him right now. Yeah, he's looked really, really sharp. That one complete to Hill. They'll give him four yards there at its second down. It's a game of matchups, and that's why you take your receivers and move them around a bunch, especially your best guys. And when they work out of the slot, you often hear the coaches talk about how great it is because it gives you a two-way go. You can break out or you can break in. That makes it hard to defend. Off of play action, Tonga Bailoa. This one thrown underneath to Achan. And he'll get up near the 45. They'll spot it at the 44. That one, a first down pickup of eight. We often talk about understanding the playbook, understanding progressions, and understanding what the defense is doing. We saw all of that on that play. Great recognition and understood where his running back was going to be. Found a way to have him leak out underneath, hit him with the football, and they picked up the first down. He'll get five out of the scramble. It's second down. His running ability has been an extra dimension of their game plan thus far. For once, though, he doesn't create any magic against the front that's prepared for him to try and take off. Now second and five. HN gets it from the gun. And good space to operate there as he takes this down inside the 35-yard line. 63 yards rushing for him now as he's carried it 16 times. I think we're seeing the effect that runs like that are starting to have on this game. They're a little bit slower, that front seven reacting to the football, almost like body blows in boxing. Slowing them down, and they're really starting to take over in this game. Looking to pass to him. And that would incomplete, but now a penalty flag coming in late. That might be P.I. So pass interference, the call there always, obviously, Charles, such a subjective call. You agree with the penalty? Well, from where we're standing right now, I think the officials are tightening things up here in the second half. Maybe a defender gets away with that in the first, but this time the flag comes out, and I think it's a good call. 
Play action. Now it's Tua. He is taken down at the 21 after a short gain of two. Looked to me like they adopted what my kindergarten teacher always said. If at first you don't succeed, try, try again. And finally able to hold him in check. He'd been carving him up running the ball. That's the first time I think I've seen where the coverage was good downfield and they accounted for him and stopped him for a short pickup. Yeah, I don't think it was a big adjustment, but much more emphasis on making sure they knew where he was when he decided to take off and go. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. I certainly like the idea. You're down on their side of the field. Get your big play guy involved. That time, they put one up for him to see if he can pull it down in the end zone. But the coverage was good, and it winds up incomplete. They missed a field goal on their last drive. Here, they need something to even get into field goal range on third down. Here's Tua. Ah, he had a man open, but he missed him, and it's incomplete. Well, he's smart enough to avoid the taunting rule, but I'll guarantee he quietly has told them, you might want to stop coming after me downfield because I just broke up another pass and took away a big shot that you were trying to succeed with. Sanders' kick is good, and the Dolphins will add on to their lead. So give him three on that drive. You know, normally you'd say we'll take it, but the way points have been flying around, it feels like a little bit of a letdown. Yeah, you just have to wonder, are field goals going to be enough? Because as you pointed out, the way touchdowns have been scored, does kicking a field goal actually put you at a disadvantage the rest of the way? After the field goal, here comes Sanders to kick it away. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. And this should be the final play before the quarter ends. To the air, Allen. Shakir hauls it in. And he'll be brought down on what's going to turn out to be the final play of this third quarter. Three quarters in the books. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now in Buffalo. The Bills have the football, but they trail here as we begin quarter number four. Second and six. Now Allen. Completes to Shakir once again. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. Eighth catch for him now. He's been a big factor. And it's a first down. Well, every drive from here out is definitely crucial and critical. They know that they need to get at least three here to get it back to a one-score game. But I can't imagine that in their huddle that they're thinking at all about getting a field goal. They want to get into the end zone and then try and get the ball back again. And he's across the 45. It'll be second down. Sometimes you're aligned perfectly and the play comes to you, and sometimes you got to cover some ground to go make the play as we just saw there. We saw a great, great example of perseverance right there on that play. Got to be careful. They might want to throw one over his head as this game progresses. Second down and eight. Now Allen. And a quick throw here. That's complete. And he's got another first down as he's brought down at the Dolphins' 42. Give him 12 yards on that one. It earns him a fresh set of downs. You cannot write these guys off just yet. Not with a quarterback like that under center. You mean it actually crossed your mind with him running the team that you could actually maybe write this game off? Not yet. Not a chance. Not with him. We've seen it too many times. Motion man is Shakir. Here's Allen. And the coverage terrific there as that's knocked down and incomplete. As a defensive back, you have some weapons at your disposal that we don't often talk about. And you can read the receiver's eyes, you can read his hands, and you know that the arrival of the ball is imminent. 
and that allows you to make a play on it and oftentimes knock it away. Allen now looks to throw. This to the tight end, Kincaid. And he's got another first down as he's brought down at the Dolphins 16. 25 yards there on the catch and run. He's certainly done a nice job spreading the field on this drive. And here he finds his big tight end for good yardage. And that's what you have to do. Keep defenses guessing about where you're going to go with the football. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. A 10th carry in the game for Cook. And he'll get four there down to about the 12-yard line. This has been an up-and-down, back-and-forth type of a game, hasn't it? Maybe this long drive could take a little bit of the wind out of their sails, kind of settle things down a little bit. Second down and six now. So the shotgun snap to Allen. And that is caught. Touchdown, Buffalo. James Cook, a 12-yard touchdown grab. And the Bills have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. Well, we know he can run the ball. There he shows he has the ability to do a little bit more. That's what you call a complete player, a guy who can run it, catch it, probably can protect the passer when necessary, but his skills are best used when you get the ball in his hands. And that's the thing. When you've got an athlete like that, you want to get the ball to him in multiple ways, right? Without a doubt, because he often creates mismatches about who can cover him, whether he's coming out of the backfield or even lining up like a receiver. An extra point by Bass, up and good. And now things get a bit more interesting here in this fourth quarter. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. And he'll go down as this drive will start at the 25-yard line. Miami's offense set and ready to go. Their lead back down to one score after the touchdown a moment ago. First down's a must on this drive as they start out here first and 10. The drive starts with a run from HM. And he'll wind up losing yardage here back at the 21-yard line. A loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. This defense starting to buckle down when they need to, and right now they're winning this fourth quarter, losing the game, but they're winning in the fourth quarter. And what a fine line it is about what they're trying to get done because they're down, so they obviously need the football, need a score, but they can't be so aggressive as to give up their edge, their gaps, and have the offense hit them with a big play. Room here to run. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. A gain there of 21 yards. Well, that should be a reminder defensively, and I think it's a reminder to myself because you just can't sell out to stop the run. There's still enough time that this offense can move the football through the air, even on first and second downs, and they obviously picked the right spot to throw the ball there. In motion, Hill. Now a play fake. Here's Tongue of Iloa. Give him a couple on the scramble. It's second down. So many times we talk about having good eye discipline when you're playing defense, making sure your eyes are in the proper place on a given play. Looks like that discipline came to the front there, didn't it? They were able to hold him for a short gain when he took off running. Ball spotted at the 45. Here's a second and eight. Two are getting it quickly out to Waddle. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. 
Couple of Alabama guys here. Two at a waddle for the Miami first. These guys are running offense like you drive. The pedal is down. <laughs> Stomp down. How about that? Back-to-back -back completions. They are rolling. So much for being conservative and running that football. Here's Tongue of Iloa to throw. Short throw to Smith. And yeah, that's good for a gain of six. And that'll bring up second down. And there wasn't much room for the big tight end to do much after the catch. But at least he was able to pick up a solid gain to help his offense continue to move in the right direction. If nothing else, they've already taken a couple minutes off the clock here already as they come up second down. And they'll give this day a chance. And tackled down after a gain of three. Leaves him with one yard to go on third down. And that's some good tackling there to keep him short of that yellow line. Yeah, defensively, all I'm thinking is that on that play, get me to third down. Get me into a position where I can make one more play and get my defense off the field. And this offense on third down today, six conversions and nine tries. They've done a great job of picking these up. They're up against a third and one situation. Going to the air, tug of Iloa. And they take him down. The Bills get to him. Dewan Smoot getting in there, recording the sack. That time, Charles, great job keeping him in the pocket and not letting him escape. And Brandon, I think this was a great example of the front and the back working together, meaning the back covering, no place to go with the football. And the front, terrific job on the edge, so he couldn't escape outside. And then, of course, the inside pressure kept him hemmed in as well. The Dolphins will send out the punter now, as he should be able to pin him back deep here with his first punt. And no return possible here as they angle this one out of bounds. The home team's offense and their quarterback headed out for this next possession. And he has been masterful so far in leading this offense. He's kept the mistakes to a minimum. He's been on point with his passes. And he's generally been one step ahead of this defense all game long. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. And you sense the tide turning. They scored, then their defense forced the punt, and now a chance to ultimately take the lead here late. So the completion good for six yards, and that will bring up second down. I got the sense that the defense created a little momentum for them there, didn't they? Did their job, forced the punt. Now, nice start to the drive. Offense has to do their part. Yeah, they certainly do, but what a great start for them. They've got to go thank the guys on D. Motion man is Shakir. Working out of the shotgun. Here's Allen. And he's got his receiver, Cooper. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. That one covers 24 yards. It's a first down. And here we are in the fourth quarter, partner, and we watch them drive for what would be a go-ahead touchdown. And you and I both know this is where you need a quarterback who can keep his cool back there, not just for himself, but to keep the rest of the team relaxed, too. So now first and 10 as they've crossed into Miami territory at the 43. To throw, it's Allen. Looking for and finding Amari Cooper again. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. I love the drive they're working on here because they know they can take the lead with a touchdown. And so far on this drive, so good. They've moved the ball down the field with very little resistance defensively, but they better be prepared for some adjustments to come their way now. Again, it's Cooper as he makes the catch. And he's down inside the five at the four before he's out of bounds. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. Just picking up yardage in bunches here these last few plays. They have moved right down the field, and just like that, they're going to be set up with a first and goal. Only way to get the lead here, of course, with a touchdown, and that's what they're gunning for on first and goal. Again, they'll throw with Allen. Throw right side, caught by Davis. And he goes backwards on this one, losing yardage to the seven. 
It'll go as a loss on the play. Not what you need down here. It's going to be second and goal. And that's a great job of tackling right there. If he could have made the first man miss, maybe he could have taken it into the end zone. Instead, they stopped him pretty well right in his tracks. And you often see that in the red zone. Offense has to be quick. In this case, the defense was quicker. Uh, give to Cook out of the gun. And a little bit of space there. Takes it inside the five to the three. Give him right around four on the carry. We'll see if they want to keep pounding here on third and goal. And, Brad, they went to a nickel defense, and that's a surprise this close to the goal line because ordinarily you use the back end of the end zone, the sidelines as extra defenders, and you want bigger people on the field to try and help against the run. Touchdown, Bills! Khalil Shakir. His second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Bills have moved out in front here in the fourth quarter. There it is, partner. You see it. Four <laughs> fingers. What does that four mean? Fingers. That, four, that signifies the fourth quarters here. That's right. Who's going to dominate? Usually both teams are holding them up. We own the fourth quarter. What we found out so far, two touchdowns here. And now they've taken the lead. Yeah, second one putting them in front. You know what I see on the other sideline, though? It seems like they've tensed up, had that lead. They were playing not to lose it, and they've lost it. That's a great observation. When you play not to lose, you usually don't win. Now, though, they'll have the opportunity to respond. An extra point by Bass, up and good. And that will make this a four-point game. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. The Dolphins offense now ready to go back out onto the field. Now the bad news for them, they've seen that cushion they once had totally evaporate, and they're working from behind. The good news, they now have the opportunity to regain the lead right back. Two and the Dolphins now with a first and 10 at their own 26. Throwing now is Chungabailoa. He'll let it go deep for Beckham. And it's knocked away and incomplete. That was for the lead right there. They know they're in a position where fortune favors the Brave. So they took their shot but couldn't connect. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Tua going to throw. He'll let it go deep for Beckham. And that will be incomplete. Tried to dial up the long one way out there, but it'll be third down. Uh, that's some good closing speed there defensively because that looked open for a minute. But that's great work with the ball in the air. Never gave up. Converged on his man and broke the play up. Tua sets up to pass it. Throw caught by Achan. And a good job defensively. They stop him short of the first at the 32. So much about this game is just understanding situations and then having to execute, isn't it? Guard the first down sticks. Don't let them get there. And they rallied and made the tackle. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes. And we've got a one-score game. So the Dolphins have it as we welcome you back in. Well, hard to catch your breath. Another big play looming. Fourth and three. Tua. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert. And they turn it over. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And the Bills are going to take over in excellent field position. So the defense has to stay out and get one more stop. They were able to do it, forcing the incompletion. 
So on their record, that goes down as a successful play. It doesn't matter how they got there, how it happened. They got it done. They're the ones that are jubilant. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Cook up the gut. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. And whistles, and we're going to have another stoppage of play as they call the timeout on defense with 1.53 left. This, in all probability, another run here on second and eight. They keep it on the ground. This time it's Davis. And he's down into the red zone at the 15 after a gain of 15. First and 10. They'll try the middle with Cook. And he'll fight his way down right around the 12. Now the Dolphins will use the last of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. He's going to get it again. Just looking to get forward and protect the ball. And strong running there as he's inside the 10 and down to the 8-yard line. I like a guy who understands the situation. I also like a guy who you look at him and you say, that looks like a guy who knows the coach is going to say, guess what? You drop this one, you'll be carrying around the training facility for an entire week. <laughs> Maybe flashback to high school or college, carrying <laughs> it around campus, right? Maybe the old gauntlet drill, right? Anyone get the ball out while he's, while he's sitting in class and bring it back to the coach? He's in big trouble. And this is caught. And that could seal it. It's a touchdown. Obviously, Charles, such an important, well-executed touchdown, and that caps off what has been a strong second half. Remember, they trailed at halftime. And how about the response? That's the type of thing that every team talks about before a season begins. Don't worry about the scoreboard at the half. Let's play strong in the second and come out and take the fight. And now remember, all touchdowns are reviewed, and in a tight game like this, they're going to take a good, long look at it. They're taking a peek at whether or not those feet were in bounds, and obviously a big call here in the end zone. And not just the feet. How about the hands? How is the ball possessed while the feet are hopefully getting down in bounds? That's what they're trying to look at to see if it all comes together. So they called it a touchdown originally, and this will stay a touchdown after the video review, so they had it right. Here's Bass now for the extra point. And that one pushes the lead up to 11. Five plays there on that drive. And it's Amari Cooper who finishes it off with a touchdown reception. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. And he takes this near the 25, just a little pass there, call it the 26. So Tua and the Dolphins down by 11, 53 ticks to go. It's an extremely tall order in front of them, but they've got the ball with a first down. Here's Tua. 
Oh, this one incomplete. The pressure got to him as he released it. And it's second down. We've seen this quite a few times in this game. Offensive line unable to keep leverage, unable to keep people away, facing a lot of pressure. Fortunate, fortunate just to get rid of it. One of the reasons they're down is that inability, though, to stop the pressure. We saw another example of it there. Throwing to a... And that'll fall incomplete. He was hit just as he let that go. And now it's third down. Back-to-back -back incompletions, but we know this is definitely four-down territory. Time not on their side. I don't think they want to try and get the first down in two installments. I think they've got to go and get it right here, right now. Now Tua. He's going to let it fly. And, oh, that's going to wind up incomplete. Nearly their first pick of the game, but it does bring up fourth down. And this is four down territory here. They know down two scores at this late stage, 10-yard passes aren't going to do it. So they took the shot there, but it winds up incomplete. The decision made for them. They've got to go. It's fourth down. They're going for it. Here's Tua with it. And he's brought down. Can't do anything with the football. It's a sack and a turnover on downs. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And boy, possession here turns over with the football already being in the red zone. Here's the Buffalo offense now as they get set to take over here. And they've got this one in hand. No timeouts remaining defensively, so this one should just be one kneel and then handshakes. Allen down to a knee, and that should just about do it. Listen, anytime you take a knee to end a game, that means you've won it. So it doesn't matter whether it's home or on the road, but there's something a little extra special about <laughs> doing it in front of your home crowd, isn't there? And the home crowd applauding. They're happy with what they've seen. Chalk this one up in the left-hand column for a win. Yeah, that's right. Head to the locker room, throw the wristbands in the crowd for the kids, your gloves, your towels. Get to share it with the home team. So no shortage of offense in this game, but a very clean game too, Charles. Each side got its points, but they did so without committing a single turnover. That's so true, and it certainly felt like NFL football at its finest, right? You talk about the highest level for both of these offenses. Neither one of them afraid of taking risks, and both of them aggressively pushing it downfield. I did like, Brandon, how smart they were about going about their business, though. They were high flying, but they took care of the ball. Yeah, they did. And just keeping it clean in a game like this with all these points, you don't see that very often, even at the highest level. Job well done by both sides. And for Charles Davis and our entire crew, I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL.